Let's see how to create 2D parallax effect in car animation in Photoshop. PSD file of this background link is in the description box so you can download it and also use for practice on it. We will learn this animation in three simple steps. The first step, how to generate 2D parallax effect of background. So, let's get started. Make sure that all background elements are in separate layers, so that we can easily apply animation on those separated layers. Here you can see that the sky, mountain, land, trailer and car all are in the separated folders. Click on the layer visibility icon to temporarily hide car and trailer folders. Open the land group. Make sure that the layer should be converted into the smart object. Double click on the smart object layer. That opens layer into the new tab. Here you can see that full land is made up with three 1920 screens. You can see that our first and third screens are similar so that our animation becomes loopable. Now close the tab. Next, double click on the mountain layer. It is also a combination of three 1920 screens. Now close the tab. Go to the window menu. Select timeline. So, press the shortcut key control or command plus zero to fit an image into the screen. Click on create video timeline. That will convert your video into a video layer which allows you to apply animations, trim the video and edit the audio. Move the control timeline magnification to zoom out. Click on the arrow to expand the clip's options. Increase the length of the clip to around 10 seconds. Repeat the same process for all layers. Close all the drop-down arrow. Now, open the mountain group layer. Then click on the stopwatch icon to apply a transform keyframe. Move the playhead to around 10 seconds. Change the position of the mountain layer manually to move the mountain. Or you can also use alignment option to change the position of the layer. We are changing the position of mountain layer so the mountain layer is moving right to left when we are moving the slider. Move the playhead to start of the timeline. Now, open the Land Clips options. Shorten the length of the clip to around 5 seconds. Then click on the stopwatch icon to apply a transform keyframe. Move the playhead to around 5 seconds. Click on the Right Align option to change the position of the Land layer. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate the Land layer. Move the clip to 5 seconds. Now repeat the same process to apply the transform animation. We are completed one loop of land layers in 5 seconds, so we created second loop for 5 to 10 seconds, because in real life you can see that the foreground objects are moving at speed compared to the background objects. Move the playhead to start of the timeline. Press the space bar to see the animation. Move the playhead to start of the timeline. Close all the drop down arrow. Okay, once you create 2D parallax background effect, we can now go to step 2, which is how to create car animation. Click on the layer visibility icon to show the car and trailer folders. Make sure that wheel layer are separated from the trailer. Also in car, front wheel and rear wheel are in separated layer from the car. Click on the arrow to expand the car front wheel clip options. Then click on the stopwatch icon to apply a transform keyframe. Move the playhead around to one second. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. Rotate the wheel to 180 degree and hit enter. Now select both keyframes. Right click on keyframe and choose copy. Move the playhead around to two seconds. Right click on keyframe and choose paste. Keep repeating the process for 10 seconds. To copy any keyframe first we need to right click on that keyframe and choose the copy option. 
To paste any keyframe at the desired place we need to compulsory place our slider at the right place and then right click on any keyframe and choose paste. Now, do the same process for car rear wheel. To make our animation loopable make sure that our first and last keyframe values the same so our animation becomes loopable. Next, open the trailer wheel clip options. Repeat the same process for the trailer wheel as we have done in the car wheel. To make animation more realistic, now we are applying vertical up-down movement to car and trailer. So, open the trailer clip options. Click on the stopwatch icon to apply a transform keyframe. Move the playhead to another point. Now press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. Press downward arrow to move the trailer downward. And hit enter. Keep repeating the same process for 10 seconds. Now, open the car clip options. Repeat the same process as we have done in the trailer. Close all the drop down arrow. Move the playhead to start of the timeline. Okay, once you create car animation, now we can go to step 3, which is, how to export the car animation video. We will learn this in two ways. The first way we are exporting animation in MP4 format. Click on the render video arrow to render the video. Give proper name and select the folder where you want to save the video. Follow all other settings as shown in the video. Now click on the render button. That will take some time to export the video. Double click on thumbnail to play the animation. In second way we learn to export animation in GIF format. Go to the file menu. Select export and click on save for web. That will take some time to export the video. Make sure that you select the GIF option from this drop-down. Follow all other settings as shown in the video. And looping option set to forever. Then click on save button. Give the proper file name and save it. Now go to the folder where you saved the video. Double click on thumbnail to play the animation. If you like my video then hit like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Visit my YouTube channel for more tutorials you will definitely learn something new. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. Thanks for watching.